Dravet syndrome is an uncommon but very important type of epilepsy that presents in young infants. I say it's important because uh, it presents in young children who have previously been developmentally normal, the parents have had no concerns about them, and then at around the age of six months they begin to have seizures. And these are not just brief, short, febrile seizures, they're often very prolonged epileptic seizures that result in the child ending up in the intensive care unit or being as admitted as an emergency into a hospital. Often that first seizure passes and people think that's a simple febrile convulsion but over the next few weeks and months it, clo it gradually emerges that these children begin to have more and more seizures. Sometimes they end up in uh, the ICU on a, on a few occasions. Subsequently they can have different types of seizures including myoclonic seizures where they will have a sudden rapid jerk of their muscles and then in the second year of life they can begin to have other seizure types and these children who are developmentally normal gradually it becomes apparent to the families and their doctors that their development is no longer normal and they start failing to progress in their development having something we call an epileptic encephalopathy. Now this is a really difficult type of epilepsy to treat but it's important to diagnose early because there may be options for treatment that may benefit these children and we hope therefore prevent them from having severe neurodisability in the future. The diagnosis of Dravet syndrome can sometimes take several months and even years to make because it relies on the evolution of the seizure types, uh, the EEG features in some circumstances and also the awareness of the family and the physician that the child has learning disability. However there are new treatments potentially and also established treatments which we know are better for Dravet syndrome than other medical treatments. We also know that there are certain anti-epileptic drugs that can cause problems in Dravet syndrome. Therefore making an early diagnosis is very important. Modern genetic testing is helping ma us make that early diagnosis. Um, there is a gene called SCN1A which codes for a sodium ion channel uh, for, which is responsible for about 70 to 80 percent of children with Dravet syndrome or variations in this gene are responsible for the syndrome. So we can now do a gene test for this um, mutation. So when we suspect Dravet syndrome we can uh, send DNA to uh, uh, a laboratory and they can look for a variant in the gene and if they find a significant variant in the gene then it will support us in our clinical diagnosis allowing us to be confident in the diagnosis earlier allowing us to tell families what the diagnosis is allowing us to give them a prognosis for the future and that can be incredibly helpful it stops families from searching for a diagnosis it can sometimes allow them to move on emotionally and psychologically when they have this child with this terrible uh, condition and interestingly it can also having a specific diagnosis allow the families to access, adi access additional therapies such as physiotherapy, speech and language therapy and all the other resources in the community that a child with a complex disability needs.